Good morning. Today we're at the base of Mount Adams here in the Presidential Range. It uh, Mount Adams is the second highest mountain in the Northeast, and it, it goes up something like 5,794 feet, and uh, it's about an eight-mile loop that I'm going to do today. And the weather is perfect. The winds are light down here. We'll see what it's like up there. But uh, this is going to be a great hike. And uh, let's do it. A little bit of blow down action. Uh, going up. It's a good time before we go above tree line to tell a story. I want to tell a story about you, you may have heard me in the past videos referring to uh, seeing animals and saying I haven't seen any beaver or uh, Bigfoot. Um, well, this is that story. I uh, one night I was having uh, dinner with my kids, Jack and Julia, and I uh, then I wanted to do some training. I was gonna go uh, do some hiking and then just crash somewhere on the trail and then do a little hiking the next morning. So I went to a, a local spot and it's known for, well, I, I won't jump ahead. Um, so I started at like nine o'clock, hiked until maybe, maybe midnight. And then I was like trying to think where I wanted to camp out. I'm like, I know this one spot right down by this river. And so I get down there and, and I didn't take my pack off yet. So I was kind of, you know, hurting a little bit and took my pack off. And it was dark, and you can hear the water. It wasn't pitch dark, but I had my headlight and lamp on. And all of a sudden, I heard this crash. And so I turned my I turn, turn my light off, and I kneeled down a little bit. And I'm just sitting there trying to figure out what that was. Hear it again, crash! I'm like, what the hell? I'm thinking, the first, first thing I was thinking is somebody's trying to scare me away from their campsite or something. And I'm thinking, when I was driving in, I didn't see one car. I was pretty sure I was the only person there. Big forest. But still, it's not a place to go camping. And uh, so, I'm sitting there. Just scratch my head, I wonder what this noise was. I probably heard it like five more times. And it sounded like it was going farther away. The crashes were going farther away, which was really confusing me if someone was trying to scare me. And so I was like, I really, I really had no idea because it sounded like it was like, like a huge, it sounded like boulders, like someone throwing boulders into the water. Boulders. So. I'm thinking, all right, yeah, it's only maybe an hour walk out, so I better, I better do it, because I have no idea what it was. So I, I walk out. Next morning, I call a friend of mine, Jamie, and, and I'm, 
and I'm, I'm, I'm asking him, and he lives right there uh, in the area, and we, he's a uh, riding buddy of mine, and he's like, I know exactly what it was. I'm like, well, I was telling him, I'm like, the only thing I could think of was, if it wasn't kids, and there was nobody out there, something's thrown boulders into the water. I mean, you put one in, one and one together, you know, it's like, Bigfoot? I mean, what else could it be? So he starts laughing. He goes, Beaver. <laughs> uh, it occurred to me that uh, he was exactly right. One time I had been uh, mountain biking around, I think it was around like Stratton somewhere, Stratton Pond or something. Was, this was way back. And we came around the corner and there was beavers in the lake and that's what they did. They just slapped the water with their tail to, to alert everyone else. And uh, so I'm guessing there's a lot of beaver back there. I look on the map, there are no trails going to where I was hearing that noise. So it was per perfect protection for the beavers. So, so I, won't, I won't carry on, but <laughs> Bigfoot and beavers. There's just too many to show, too many caves. This is incredible, crazy, crazy stuff. Oh man, talk about rock scrambling. Whew. Oh. Rock scrambling with one hand holding a camera. Now that's a challenge. Whew. Let's see if we can uh, get on this boy and get, catch a view. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! Getting there. Sorry, gotta do it.
Booyah. Tight fit. All right. Down still? No. Let's go. Let's go up. All right. Going up. They don't have a pack on, huh? Whew. This is a rock scrambling path. There's uh, no way easy through this path. Um, so Just warning you. You guys hear the news? They're calling this the Nobby Trail now. And that's Nobby Mountain. True fact. I can't really see it, but that's the trail that just came up. There behind me is Madison Spring Hut. It's all locked up right now, but I think it's going to open soon. Monday, maybe? Tomorrow? And, uh, now on our way up to Adams. A second ago, it was so clear, and then all of a sudden, bam! Cloudy. Um, I'm sure it'll come back out. But this is one of the few times I'm on top of the ridge, presidential ridge, and I don't know if this mic is picking it up, but there's a very, very light breeze, which is very rare for uh, on top of uh, the presidentials. I think I only experienced light winds like this maybe once a long, long time ago. So this is kind of special.
I'm in one of the windiest spots in the world right now. There's not one ounce of breeze. Oh, oh there was a little bit. <laughs> and there's nobody up here. Incredible. Let's wait and see if we can get some uh, some views. Maybe this will clear out. So let's sit down, and have a little break. Uh, does it get any better than this? Well, it could get better than this. We we could have some views, so. But we can wait, right? Ah, uh, yeah. This is pretty good. Like I said, the winds are always blowing, like you know. 50 miles an hour up here this is this is very rare and there's no one up here which is even rarer but uh, it was a tough climb but we'll see
amazing day. The, uh, we got on top of Adams, it's all foggy, it cleared out nice. Incredible. And I was, me and this other guy were the only ones up there. Wow. And just amazing how the, the wind was so light. Oh, it's the best. So I'm almost to the car now. I think I got maybe another half an hour. And that's that. So thanks for coming with me. And leave a comment on any uh, trail that you'd like to see, mountain you'd like to, for me to climb. And I'll try to try to fit it in. And thanks for coming.